this is pretty funny, only because the sentence structure, this father confronts Lego is not a sentence that I thought I would ever have the profound privilege of reading. But guess what? 2023, this is the state of conservative uh, culture war commentary where, thank God, this brave father has confronted Lego. Okay? Big Lego. <laughs> John Lego confronted. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how this brave father confronted Lego for promoting the LGBTQ agenda to children and then gets thrown and then just gets subsequently owned by store security. This father got owned by Lego security. Okay. I love that. The Lego group supports what? Yeah, the Lego group supports the LGBTQ community. Yeah. Yes. But the question is, why are you all in here with those pins on? Do you think children care about what man sucks at home and what girl eats vaginas at home? Oh, oh, gross, dude. This is not a good national movement, guys. Don't highlight this, bro. This is, bro, you know what this is like? If I was, let's say, operating at the DNC, Okay, if I was a Democratic Party operative or something, and I constantly brought up, like, the most unhinged takes from, like, septum-piercing-having anarchists that uh, think that, like, showers are uh, a, promoting an unjustifiable... Like, basic hygiene is promoting an unjustifiable hierarchy. You know what I mean? Like, and, and I basically tried to make that the National Democratic Party policy. Okay, like this is literally Charlie Kirk doing the equivalent of that, but for the fucking right wing. That's so gross, man. You walked into a fucking Lego store to yell at a person making like $12 an hour if they're fucking lucky about how women are eating pussy at home and men are sucking cock at home. That is so wild. There's like kids around, dude. Like, why? Why is it that the first? It's so, it's so odd and so unhinged that like normies will not respond to this positively. Normies will look at this and go, what the fuck are you doing? What? It's so insane, dude. Register him as a sex offender 100%. Like, what's mind boggling to me about this public obscenity that this dude is like in promoting here in front of children, by the way, is that no normal person thinks like this. No one goes, oh, that's a LGBT pin. Well, immediately my mind goes to sucking and fucking. But is that what you think when you go, when you look at like a, like a photo of a straight couple, you're like, damn, you know her ass cheeks are getting fucking blown to smithereens at night? Like, is that what you think? What's wrong with you? You don't think that, unless you're a fucking pervert. You know what I mean? It's so weird. Children care about what man sucks at home and what girl eats vaginas at home? Do you think they care about that? Do, I mean, do, do you think they I care? I don't think they think about that personally. Right. They so why would so, so, so they, they think about it when they see your pen? No, they don't. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> no, they don't. Yes, they do. I'm thinking about it right now. I can't stop thinking about it. As a matter of fact, it's like, bro, that's a you thing. Please leave. You're scaring the children. What the fuck? It's disgusting. Call that's called grooming. All right. Did y'all mind leaving? Yeah. If you call security, tell security that you're. He said, that's called grooming. Bro, there's a child right there. You're a fucking freakazoid, dude. Holy shit. Hey, that you're in here wearing a uh, pride flag Absolutely. We on, your, you on your shirt. Come on, guys. It's time to leave. Well, you know what's amazing? Most children don't know. He's been educated by me. I think it's grooming. It's, it's borderline pedophilia and child abuse for these weirdos to come in here and wear that 
and at the same time, kids buy from the store. When does it stop? I'm sick and tired. Huh? Yeah, but he's like, bro, I am not getting paid enough for this. Like, that's look at his face. It's just like, dude, come on. I just fucking god damn it. Just oh. I, I get paid ten dollars an hour, man. What the fuck is this I shit? I came here to buy something. When does it stop? At some point, we need to stop pushing this mess on children. At this point, we're just gonna have to ask you to leave. I'll leave, okay. and I won't spend any money at Lego. Fantastic. If you're in here right now, Sir. if you're Sir. in here right now, and you care Sir. about value, this store is intentionally promoting LGBTQ behavior on children. Sir. You're, you're Spend your money in a place that doesn't do that to kids. Sir, you're about to get trespassed. Thank you. <laughs> oh, dude, I wanted them to fucking beat his ass. That would have been awesome. Yeah, no. Everybody likes the guy who is like fucking foaming out of the mouth, screaming about children's genitals at the Lego store. Everybody thinks that that should definitely be the fucking national campaign strategy. Oh, my God. Bro, they go off of this. Hillary Clinton could fucking become president. I don't want to write that into the fucking... I don't want to put that in writing. I don't want the DNC to hear me say this, okay? You, you're you going to make Kamala Harris president, okay? That's what you're going to do. can't believe I said that out loud. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Now it's going to fucking happen. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> I made a dick out of the Legos at the Lego store and then they kicked me out and I wanted to make this hard cock to show my manhood. That's what that's what kids need to know about. <laughs> this store is leading me to make LGBT decisions. <laughs> oh no. That's all you need to do is subscribe, obviously.